everyone, this is DWS Darius and welcome to another day in the fish room. So not too long ago, I made a video showing you guys 55 different stock ideas for a 55 gallon aquarium. I got a lot of good feedback from that video, a lot of you guys found it helpful, and I also got a lot of suggestions to do other common tank sizes. So today I want to give you guys 29 stock ideas for a 29 gallon aquarium. Now just like last time, with this stock list, I tried to be as realistic as possible. I imagine owning 29 different 29 gallon aquariums, and these are fish that I think would be awesome and fish that I would choose to occupy um, 29 different 29 gallon aquariums. Now I try to stick with the trend of fish because you know every now and then there's a different fish that's trending and that's popular, and it seems like nowadays predatorial fish and oddball fish are trending so I'm going to try to squeeze a little oddball and predatorial fish that can live inside a 29 gallon aquarium and lastly for the sake of time I will be brief on these different stock ideas so it is your responsibility if you are interested in any of these fish to do further research to learn about how to take care of this fish so with that being said let's get straight to it okay everyone so I'll start by giving you guys a look at my 29 gallon that I currently have set up so this right here is a 29 gallon aquarium, the standard Aquion 29 gallon. It measures 30 inches long by 12 inches wide by 18 inches tall. And I'm currently using it as a hillstream tank. I have hillstream loaches as my main fish. I love these fish because they're very cool looking. They look like small stingrays. They're very active. They're very peaceful. And I just love these fish. Along with them, I have some fish to occupy other levels of the aquarium like white claw minnow, some danio. I also have some American flag killifish and some dwarf freshwater gobies. The next option for stocking a 29 gallon aquarium are pygmy sunfish. These sunfish are native to Florida and they only get maybe about an inch and a half and they look very stunning. So you could do a nice colony of maybe five or six and they also get along with other peaceful community fish that tolerate cooler temperatures. Fish like danio and white cloud minnow similar to my hill stream setup. You could do a red tail red eye puffer aquarium. Now I'm surprised how uncommon these fish are. These puffer fish are able to live in fully freshwater aquariums, but I hear that they are highly aggressive. But you know, they say that about all puffer fish, but these only get about an inch and a half to two inches. And in my opinion, they look very cool. I think a nice colony of these will look nice in a 29 gallon aquarium, maybe five or six of them. Or you could do maybe just a single one with a lot of plants and stuff and some fast moving fish so that you don't have to worry about them having any problems with their tank mates. Another option for stocking your 29 gallon aquarium are South American leaf fish. Now leaf fish, you have different species coming from all around the world, but specifically South American leaf fish only get about four inches and they look very cool. For the most part, these fish are stationary. They'll just um, camouflage with your decker in your aquarium and they're predators. So you could drop in small fish and they will eat them and just very cool looking fish. Another option for stocking a 29 gallon aquarium are banded bushfish. These fish are also predatorial. They get about four inches and they use their camouflage to hunt smaller fish. So it's important when you stock your aquarium if you want to add other community fish because they're generally peaceful that they're not small enough to be eaten. Um, these guys are a little bit aggressive towards their own kind so you may be able to get a mated pair. Otherwise it may be a little tricky trying to add multiple in the same aquarium. Another option are wild type betta. This is becoming a very popular fish. Wild type betta get a little bit larger than your average show off betta. Um, these betta get around four inches and they also have a little bit of a predatorial instinct in them. They'll hunt small insects and small fish and just they have some nice features. They look kind of in my opinion like small pikes and just a very interesting fish. Another option are paradise fish. These are community uh, form of gourami, they're in the same family as gourami and they look really awesome. You have different variations, you have the blue version, the chocolate version, and the albino. Um, you could get away with keeping a made up pair in this, aqua in this size aquarium. It may be once again tricky because they are a little aggressive towards their own kinds with males fighting other males. So a made up pair or single one with other community fish will work well. Same thing with dwarf gourami. As I said before, they're in the same family, dwarf gourami. You have your powder blue, you have your honey gourami. Um, these, the same thing, you could keep a solo one, a made a pair, it will be tricky trying to keep more than that, but they do perfectly as a show fish with other community fish around them. Same deal with the sparkling gourami. Now one of the cool things about sparkling gourami is that they are one of the few fish that you can actually hear when males battle, they make a clicking noise, which I think is very cool. They only get about two inches, so you could get away with keeping a colony of them inside a 29 29 gallon aquarium so maybe six of them and I'm pretty sure if you do keep multiple males 
um, you will be able to hear the nice clicking when they battle, which I think is pretty awesome. You can also do a pair of killifish. Now I'm amazed at how many different variations of killifish are available in this hobby. So many different colors. One of my favorites is the Gardneri killifish, a fish that's just always smiling the last time I kept it. But yeah, different killifish will look awesome and they are peaceful so you can have um, just other community fish like tetra or barbs to mix with them. You can also do wrestling half beaks. Now these are cool looking live bear fish. They are actually predators. Um, kind of like the Hujetagar, which was a famous fish on my channel a couple of um, months ago. But yeah, these guys are predators and they look really awesome. You can do mollies. I love self and mollies because they look awesome. You can do one male with several females. Or you can do other types of mollies like leer tail mollies or balloon mollies. Whatever you find most interesting. Now usually in some of my larger aquariums I use smaller schooling fish as fish to promote other fish. I never really use them as focal points but in a tank this size is easier and better to use these small schooling fish as focal points. So some focal point fish that I would use, schooling fish that is, are like glow light -like danio. Another option would be purple passion danio, it's just a nice school of them will look awesome as the main focal point of the tank. Same thing with Calibri Tetra, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but these are oddball Tetra that look really awesome and I think a nice colony of maybe 10 of them in this aquarium will look cool. Same thing with Emperor Tetra, just a fish that in my opinion deserves an aquarium for itself. Emperor Tetra full of plants, um, definitely an awesome tank. Same thing goes with Rummy Nose Barbs, a fish that is definitely on my wish list. I can imagine 10 of them in this aquarium looking stunning. And same thing with a mixed barb tank. Now you have different types of barbs, but I think uh, if you could get six tiger barbs, let's say six Odessa barbs and six black ruby barbs, um, you're definitely going to have a beautiful show tank. They're going to be extremely active. And you know, barbs have different aggression levels. I find that these three are somewhat on the same level of aggression, so you don't have to worry about any problems while at the same time getting a ton of color. Next, you could use a night goby as a focal point of the tank. These gobies are pretty oddball looking. They get around maybe three to four inches. Now they can be a little bit aggressive towards their own kind. So in a tank this small, I will only keep one. And also they are predatorial, so they will eat small fish. So I would keep maybe some larger fish that like to stay at the top of the tank, like maybe hatchet fish or something like that. Similar to that, you could do peacock gudgeon. Um, these are like the peaceful version of those previous fish. And um, they definitely show a lot more color and they only get maybe two to three inches. You could probably do maybe three or four of them in this aquarium with some community fish above them because they like to stay towards the lower section of the tank. You could do a colony of dwarf rainbow fish. Dwarf rainbow fish are just extremely active and when you put maybe 10 of them in this aquarium, you're gonna get so much activity. It's just gonna be a very active aquarium. Um, similar to that, you have your spotted blue eye rainbow fish. A very cool looking rainbow fish. They are a little bit pricey, but well worth it because they look pretty stunning and you could probably get away with maybe 8 to 10 of them in this aquarium. Of course with these um, fish that I'm listing as like colonies you can always do other fish with them like um, corridors or just uh, these other little side notes but these are just the main focal points that I'm focusing on. After that some cool cichlids for a 29 gallon aquarium. First we're going to start off with the ram cichlid. Um, ram cichlids you have so many different diversities. One of the latest um, ones that we produce is the black night ram which I think look awesome. You can either do a colony of rams, maybe about maybe six of them, or you could do a made up pair. But yeah, you have your black knights, you have your German blues, you have your electrics, and just rams are definitely some awesome fish. Same thing with epistogramma. Epistogramma, there are so many different species. If I go online, I can always find a new different species of epistogramma. Just so many different variations. You do a made up pair, you could do a small colony of like six of them, or um, a single one in a community, they are peaceful, which is awesome. You can do cupid cichlids. Now these fish don't really get a lot of attention, but they definitely are some awesome looking fish. They um, are South American, they produce a lot of color, and they're generally peaceful. I would do maybe one inside a community. You can also get away with a mated pair, but a mated pair maybe have to be kept alone because they can be aggressive protecting their young. You can do a colony of checkerboard cichlids. Now I saw a documentary um, a little while ago of these in the wild and in the wild they just stick in thick numbers and they look awesome. So in this aquarium I would probably do like 10 or 12 of them and they definitely would look awesome with a lot of driftwood and other decorations to repl replicate their natural habitat. You could do a pair of jewel cichlids. Jewel cichlids are aggressive so you're going to want to keep these 
fish alone otherwise you can maybe keep like a single female because females are a little bit smaller than males so because of that they're not able to do as much damage when it comes to aggression and if you were to put it with other fish it would have to be fast moving fish you can also do african butterfly cichlids now these fish are related to the jewel cichlids i never kept them but i hear that they're a lot more aggressive so you're going to want to keep these guys alone you can probably do a colony of like five of them or keep a mated pair but I haven't kept these fish yet, but they look very similar to the Five Star General, which I know is one of the most aggressive cichlids in the hobby. And they are related, so they got to be somewhat aggressive if they're related to that fish. And the 29 fish for the 29 gallon aquarium are Bashardi cichlids. These are Lake Tanganyika cichlids, and they are um, pretty mild when it comes to aggression. You can keep a made up pair, which looks awesome, and they will do well with um community fish that are at least two inches or larger so that is 29 fish for a 29 gallon aquarium but you know i have some bonuses so for a bonus you could do a crim Crebensis cichlid pair, you know, you have different varieties of Crebensis cichlids, they look awesome, and they're generally peaceful, so you can have them with community fish. Then I have one more bonus, which is actually not a species of fish, it's rather um, crayfish. You can do a colony of dwarf crayfish. Now, this is something I tried a while ago, and they definitely were some awesome creatures to keep. You have different colors, um, I think it's electric orange crayfish, um, you have electric blues, and as I said before, they're a very cool looking creature. They're generally peaceful, and in my opinion, they're easier than, than shrimp to keep, and they're a little bit bigger, so just a little bit better when it comes to watching them. Okay, everyone, so that has been a look at some fish that I was stocking inside a 29 gallon aquarium. As I said before, I was pretty brief, so if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. But I do encourage you that if any of these fish caught your attention, that you go online and do your research, because that is very important. Um, as always, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you like what you see in this fish room, make sure you subscribe because I have a lot of awesomeness for you guys. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.